good afternoon. Working on a 2014 Kenworth T660. We have fault code 559. Injector meeting rail pressure. Came up 25 times. I'm going to show you today how to do a proper... I mean, I'm going to go ahead and do a fuel pressure check. I built up my fuel pressure. We're gonna, it's gonna have to reconnect here. We're gonna see if it bleeds down. So basically I use this test to really check my injectors, if any of them are leaking down or not. I mean, it won't be a fault on it, on the injectors, but we're having a 559 low fuel pressure in common rail. I'm leaning towards a head pump. I like to do this test first. So we're still connected. I mean, it's not dropping drastically. It's holding. So our head pump is building up fuel, but we're losing fuel pressure somewhere. I mean, we're really holding good. I'm leaning towards... First thing I'm going to do is change out this common rail pressure relief valve. And then I'm still going to change out this head pump. Um... In the head pump here, I have a head pump here. It's a new one. It was put on a truck on the road, but it was the pressure relief valve. Inside here are your, what do you call them? Uh, oh my God. You got your check valves. I believe what these check valves are somewhere releasing pressure after the truck's running, fuel's hot. We're gonna throw this whole assembly on. And uh, from my experience on them, this is usually the culprit. I had one with the common pressure relief valve. Uh, we had about five of them with these head pumps. Same issue, 559. We already changed out the fuel filters. Truck went out, we're still losing fuel pressure. I'll keep you updated and thank you for watching the video.